All right, so here's a schematic for anyone that wants to make a solenoid spot welder and they want to be able to control the timing. Well, control the timing and then to be able to adjust it by a change of the capacitor. This is how you do that. So this is a, a truck's electrical relay. Just a little tiny um, relay from a microwave transformer, microwave oven and uh, truck starting solenoid. So I'll show you, this is the schematic. So we're using the truck solenoids common, just stay in contact with the capacitors positive to leave it charged when the relay is not engaged. When we engage the relay, the foot switch, engaging the coil on the relay, this uh, swiper comes down. Now the common's not connected with the capacitor to charge it, it's, it's connected to discharge it. And it will not charge now until release release the, the coil connection. So it comes, that positive from that co solenoid runs this coil, which allows the positive that's already on here to go to the third solenoid, which is the truck solenoid and make the weld. It's pretty simple, works really good. Here is uh, 22 UF timing. <clears throat> I got the foot switch on the floor. So every time I hit the foot switch, it's just gonna reset for me, okay? So here we go. Then it just resets. Resets automatically for me. See if I hold it after when I press it down. Now I'll let go of it. You listen. You hear the the big main relay that the truck electrical relay that disengages, and then now the capacitor can fill up. Pretty basic. As you can see. So that's basically it. Obviously, uh, you can put a smaller capacitor for uh, lower power welding. But yeah, that's it, guys. All right. Have a good one.